npm packages normally but there are specifics for these frameworks when it comes to react framework next.js and byte um sorry um uh, vue.js now always know that any project that is react uh, i mean any package that is a react package can work on next year so you don't have to bother creating a particular package for next year so what i'll be teaching you in this part is how you can create a package that is react specific all right so let's hit the road so first thing we want to do is to create a react project so we are using vit so npm create vit at latest that's what we're doing here and so we want to create react react pack let me do that correctly pack pro yeah i'm just using a random name and i'm going to be using typescript so we are using react typescript all right and then next thing i want to do is open this in my um vs code so code vs code um the name of the project and it opens automatically on um, <coughs> vs code all right now let me move this a little bit to the side let it take half of the screen let this one take half okay something like that um doesn't really matter now just in case you don't have any idea of um, how to create a package this should not be so difficult for you to follow but if you feel this is a bit too fast you can check out my previous videos i will also um make sure to link them down below if um it's a separate uh, separate video all right um so the first thing uh, we have to do here is to install tsop tsop is used for uh, doing the transpiling so we are writing this in uh, typescript so we might need this in um, common js or might need this in ecma.js so so first things first npm install um and this should be a dependent uh, development dependency ts up like so and hit enter that should start the installation for us so while the installation is happening we need to work on our package.json file so the first thing we want to work on our package.json file is um we want to change this uh, private to false we want it to be public please and then um we'll, we'll just leave the name here but remember that you can do a namespace so you can add something like at your username slash um slash um pack uh, react pack uh, pro but you know what let me just add the namespace so it's at a bare plenty slash all right so a bare plenty this is my username as you can see here so let me save that and then let's come down a little bit here and then we want to um, create the files that um, should be accessed. And one is the types. The types would help us assess the um, type um, props. And then we now have the main, which is the main file that should be accessed by um, the package. All right. So I will just put that in here. Now you would, um, you might have noticed that in the previous packages we created, we added a module, um, a module key. It is not necessary for what we are creating here, and you see that in a bit. All right. So the next thing I want to do is to add um, a, a script for TSOP. So we we'll just put it like this. And notice that previously we used build. This time around we are using bundle because we already have build here. This can be anything we, we choose to. Just make sure you remember it when you want to run the script. All right. Now another thing we can choose to add is um, the author and um, the license. We can choose to also add keywords. So keywords like so. And um, this is an array of strings. So we can do hello. We can do a greet like so you know just anything you choose to add um we we can add, add many other things like um home page uh, now home page will be the link to um what's the name to maybe like our um maybe let's say have a documentation or stuff like that okay or a website something like that we can have a git repository like so so something like github So it should be git. I think I'm not getting that right. So GitHub, something like this, GitHub, okay. And then we set that to be equal to an object. I'll set the URL inside like so. And the URL can be anything too. Um, but usually people will put in their, their GitHub URL and stuff like that. Um, uh, you can tell the file is newer, compare and rewrite. Okay, um, so here is the thing. We, when we did the installation, we, well, you know, let me just overwrite and save. I think I'll have to redo the installation I, I've done before. So let me just do, let me install the TS up again. Um, because I made some edits to, to it, um, so it didn't show up properly. But we are now good. Um, so we now have um, 
ETS of 8.0.2 here. Okay, so um, now that we have that, the next thing we want to add is um, the Git ignore, sorry, NPM ignore. Um, we're ignoring almost everything here. The only thing that we'll, we'll be going with or we'll be pushing up is just the package.json and then the disk folder that will be created. We're ignoring the source folder, the node modules, the public, the ES link, um, ES lint, uh, was the name configuration, um, the .env, DS store, and all of all of all, all these file configurations. They are only needed while we're developing, but for the proper um, use in other projects, they are not necessary. And so that's why we are ignoring them. Um, there's already the git ignore. So something else we want to add now is the tsop. Yes, tsop uh, config, um, tsop.config, by the way. And you can just copy this. Um, it, there's nothing much you need to uh, know here, but just be concerned about the format. We are changing this. We are transpiling to two formats. The one is the common JS, and the second one is the ECMA script. Then the file that is to be transpiled is the index.tsx file. Now, if you want other files to be transpiled in like manner, you also uh, indicate them here, but we don't need them because what we want to do is to create all the functionalities we want in different files and then push them into this in index.ts file and then export them. So when the transpiling time comes, what happens is that um, TSO goes into this file, it transpiles everything inside of the file um, and uses the link to go into each of those files, transpile them, bundle them in one file and then give us what we ask for in just one file. So what else do we need? We already have the tsconfig.json, uh, we have the tsop.config.ts, which means everything is set. Uh, I think we are ready to go into the source directory. We have not created this index.ts file, so that's the first thing we need to create here. So index.ts file and save that. Recall that we said that everything will pass through this index.ts um, file. So anything that doesn't pass through this index.ts file will not be transpiled. So what we want to do is um, to create a component here and then um, create um, a grid function or a grid component like so, grid.tsx like so. And we'll just create a simple grid function. I am sure you can create um, something even more complex or stuff. But what we are focused on is how to create a package for React. What we are doing is everything you already know in React, all right? So I'm not going to waste so much time. That's why I'm a bit speeding things up. So we have the grid function. It comes with a type of name, um, a props of name with a type of string, stuff like that. And so for us to test this out, let's start our development server. So let's clear this off. And then let's do an npm run, run dev and hit enter. This should start for us um, our development server like so. So it's open here um, and it's working, right? So let's clear up or let's clear off what's inside of the app.tsx to make sure that um, the grid stuff is working. So let's get rid of it like so. And so inside of here, we want to call the grid function. And of course, we want to make sure that we're passing the name like so. So if we do not pass the name, you should just tell us hello. So we pass in an empty string, save it. And so we have hello here. Now, if we pass in a name like my name, Njoku, you see hello Njoku, which means this is working. You can choose to test this extensively by doing an NPM link to um, set up the package locally and then get it in another project, you know, and do all the stuff. We've done that in our previous project or previous video, so you can check that out too. But what I'm doing is to push this straight to NPM. So before we do the push, the first thing we want to do is to do an NPM run bundle. So this will do the transpiling for us. So let's get our package.json file. Let's open it so that you see what's going on just in case you didn't follow up. So the package.json file shows the script bundle here. So it does the TSO and inside of the source, it transpiles the index.ts file. So as soon as the transpiling starts happening, you see this folder here. So let's hit npm run bundle, create enter, and it, cre it creates the dist folder for us with all the necessary files. So there's the common JS file, sorry, there's the common JS file, um, there's the um, index.js file, there's the index.d.tsx file, and there's the index.d.cts file. And you notice that it is cu currently empty because we have not exported um, any function inside of the index.ts um, file. So let's go back inside of the source file and inside here we do the index.ts file. So what we want to do first of all is to import, we want to import from components, we want to import from the grid file, of course. Uh, okay, so from the grid file. Okay, and then what we are importing from there is grid. Okay, so that is it. Now, as we have imported it, we also want to export it. So we export 
like so. We could also choose to just make this an export default, which works fine for us. But we are also checking a case whereby, a case whereby um, there are multiple um, files here. So if there are multiple files, you want to do an export and put it inside of um, like a curly brace, like we've done here or stuff. You know, this can just go any way you wish. Um, these are regular JavaScript. What we are concerned about is um, publishing this. So let's do this um, bundle again. So let's do um, npm run bundle. This time around, we should now have um, our file well populated. So this is the ECMAS script, uh, script one. This is the homojs one. And this is for our typing. So for example, we have the grids and it has a props of um, name um, with type of string and stuff like that. So we have all this well set up for us and we don't have to bother anymore. So now that we have everything set up, let's publish um, this to NPM. So let's clear and do an NPM publish, like so. NPM publish. Um, back in our package.json file, remember that we added um, a namespace here at plenty. So remember that we have to change the access because by default, it's going to be private. So we want to change the access to public. Yeah, so access public, hit enter. It starts the work for us. Um, do not forget that we have to authenticate. So let's open this and um, authenticate. Okay, great. So let's authenticate this and this should uh, be done in a minute. Now our authentication is done. Back in our terminal, everything is complete. And so we now have this ever plenty slash react pack pro. Um, we can check this out here. And um, we have, let's open a very plenty. Plenty. Okay, and we have React Pack Pro, like so, great. So once it opens now, let's make it full screen so that you see what we're talking about. Now, initially we didn't set up many things in the README of the previous ones we did, but this just show you how the README will show. This is just the README from Vit that we we're given. But pay, pay close attention to the code. Notice that only the things we sent down here are this, the this folder, the README folder, and the package.json folder, which will be used um, in other projects. And when you open here, it has um, the same code, but in different format. So when this is given to different kinds of code, depending, there's different kind of project, depending on the project, whether JavaScript, TypeScript, or whatsoever, you see that this will work well without throwing any error, all right? Now that we have this set up to make sure that we test this and this is working, let's create a new project. Now, um, now this project we're going to create is um, also another React project, but it's just for testing what we have done so far, all right? So this would um, start in a minute. Um, we also create this in JavaScript format so that you see that this doesn't have to be a TypeScript project anymore. It can just be anything that um, we wish it um, to be, whether a TypeScript project, whether an SWC project or stuff like that, all right? So um, this will start in a bit. Um, let me let me restart this. Let's go again. So um, my reception was a bit poor. Um, so what we are doing now is just React Pack Pro test. So um, React and JavaScript. I just want to be able to demonstrate to you that this works, um, whether it's TypeScript or, or not and um, TypeScript. You know, like we did the first former time, let's open this up in VS Code. All right, so, and make sure we move it to the side like so. So first things first, we want to do an NPM install to install the packages, all right? Now, once the packages are done installing, uh, then we'll now install um, this one that we have created now. And we'll, we'll show this inside of our app and show how it works when um, we do it. So we can just open a new terminal here and then do the installation. So npm i ever plenty slash React Pack Pro. So this installation is done. And so we are here in the second one. This second one too is done, which means we now have this. So if you open um, node modules and you scroll down, um, we should have it at a very plenty somewhere somewhere here good. And inside of this, we have the React Pack um, Pro and we have the disk folder and you know, we have everything we need. So now let's move into the app.jsx file and we just make one change. So before I make that change, let's make sure we have um, we have our development server running. So let's open this up. So everything is working fine, right? So we'll close this down. And all we want to change is this Vite and React. So let's leave everything working the way it is. So let's open the grid. So once we try to 
do the grid, it will automatically uh, import it for us. So it has been automatically imported. I notice it's importing it from a very plenty slash React slash, uh, slash uh, hyphen pack hyphen pro. All right. Now close this up. Now, if you save this, it should tell you just hello, which is what we wanted, right? Now, if we add in a name, so if we add in a name now, say something like Vite um, React, save it, it changes to uh, hello, Vite React. We could just add the plus that was here initially, and everything is working perfectly. And that is it. This is how you create your own React package. And of course, share your code with others, share the functionality you know with others. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, thank you very much for the support I've been getting all this while. Please keep subscribing to my channel. Like this video, share with everyone you think this um, will be helpful. Share it on social media. Um, this will make me create more. Um, thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video.